All right, here's an update on my Baby Desert Eagle and 40 Smith & Wesson. This is the full size with the polymer frame. It's clear. In my last two videos, you could see I was having a lot of issues with this gun. I was getting failures to feed probably, I don't know, once every five rounds. I don't know, too many times to count. And uh, the last time I went and shot this gun, it took me two hours to shoot 50 rounds. Absolutely every single round was getting jammed up into the throat of the barrel, way up top. And if it didn't get jammed there, it was coming directly straight up and in the top of the slide. And I couldn't take it anymore. So I uh, emailed Magnum Research. I went to sleep. By the time I woke up, Magnum Research already contacted me. They already sent me a FedEx overnight shipping label. I was like, wow, that's awesome. That was fast, less than 12 hours. So I shipped it back to them. They had it for three days. They overnighted it back to me. Within a week, I had the gun back. And this is what they said. They said my magazines, the Tanfoglio stock magazines, were out of spec. Now, they didn't exactly say what was out of spec about them, but I'm guessing it was the feed lips. Right here and right here. I'm thinking they were a little too wide, letting the bullet fly out a little too early, coming out at a harsh angle up. So, I can't see any marks on them, but I'm thinking that the gunsmith over there kind of closed them down, made a talent's a little bit tighter and they also said that there was a burr on my slide somewhere now I took the gun apart I can't see where they took the burr down he did such a good job but uh, yeah there was also a burr on my slide and here's the weird thing my magazines were out of spec and I had to burn my slide. So there's two problems causing the failure to feed. Here's the thing. Before I sent it in, this Mechgar CZ75 magazine was having the same problems. It was jamming. Now I got the gun back. Now this magazine works fine. So what that's telling me is that the burr was the majority of the problem on the slide. It wasn't the magazine so much. So I think in my one of my last videos you can see me riding the slide. And I'm doing that purposely because I thought I felt something. Right before the round chambered, I could feel it hanging up. So yeah, there's that. Now I get it back from the factory. I'm all excited. I take it up to shoot. I load it up. And the first two magazines had five failure to feeds again. I'm like, oh my god. It's happening again. Well, I'll show you a picture right now. This is what bulk ammo from Walmart looks like when one of the employees drops the box. So guys, if you get bulk ammo from Walmart, even if it's the nicely packed Winchester white box stuff, do not buy it, even in times like this where it's hard to get ammo, because this is what happens. Those five rounds are obviously were dropped, and the projectile is seated way into the casing, and that is uh, pretty dangerous. So, after I discovered that it was just those deformed rounds, from the employee drop in the box, I uh, got rid of those, discarded those rounds, and the gun worked flawlessly. I have not had a problem with it since. I've put um, probably around 200 rounds through it. Not a single jam, failure to feed, nothing, not even a hiccup. This gun is running like clockwork. I'll give you a few close-ups of the gun right now, too.
ambidextrous safety and decocker. Love the trigger pull on this gun. There's a little bit of creep on it. Then when it stops, it's there. The uh, double action is kind of brutal. I'm not sure how much it is, but it's pretty brutal. Well, at the end of this video, I have some shooting, some new shooting vids, some close-ups of this gun in action, and uh, I think I have uh, some night shots. But uh, yeah, so I guess my magazines were out of spec. I had a little burr on the slide somewhere, and uh, it's working great now. And the customer service over there at Magnum Research, I don't know if because Carr has anything to do with it, because Carr bought them out, but uh, it was fantastic. So, enjoy the shooting. Thanks, guys. Five rounds, stock Tanfoglio magazine. Twelve rounds. Sixteen round. CZ 75 magazine. I think I only loaded it with 10. Let's try it out. <laughs> 